This is the morning office for March 25th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 36, verses 5 to 11. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God! Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. The Word of the Lord. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering, and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me because of your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is forever and ever. The Desert Fathers, those Zen masters of Christianity who were well acquainted with silence, were apt to say that silence is the place of battle against the world, the devil, and the old self, which was what they substituted for the flesh. They were apt to say, St. John of the Cross said, that the last of these is the most stubborn. That is, the old self is the hardest thing against which to struggle in living the faithful life. The old self certainly has familiar words, has patterns that we're used to. How many of us are so accustomed to routine that we're unable to break out of it? Perhaps part of silence is to enable us to examine 
our old routines, examine ourselves and those pieces of ourselves that we take for granted, and to begin to set those aside as new and better things are presented to us. I ask your prayers today for the day, the world, and the church, and as we are doing in Holy Week, especially for the peace of the Holy Land. Pray for all those who, like ourselves, go about their normal lives or try to go about their normal lives in constant fear, in, in danger of violence, in danger of sudden death. Pray that those who live in the place where our Lord walked will be able to walk in safety. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>